A few years ago, the Jordan Grace fandom used to be one of the most positive, uplifting communities you could ever hope to be a part of. How much will it cost for you to choke me out? Can I give you $2,000 just to sit in your abs and feed you strawberries? Your wrestler. My wrestler what? <laughs> I will pay to see your nudes. How much? How much you're offering? 300 Your firstborn child and your soul. That sounds good to me, lol. But that all changed forever. Because over the last year, Jordan Grace decided to go on a body transformation journey. Now before we get started, I think it's important to mention that I also have the body of a professional athlete. And I'm actually not joking. You can ask anyone who knows me, they'll back me up. Granted, the athlete is Roy Nelson, but that's besides the point. Four and a half years ago, I laughed at the horniness that was on display in her comment section. So today, I've decided to see, has the wrestling community changed? Has it matured? As Jordan Grace embarks on this journey, have the comments gone from creepy and weird to love and support? I'm going to say probably not. We start with a picture of her doing some gym things. The juice go crazy, huh? Uh, it does, actually. You don't get to look like this without having your breakfast first thing in the morning. Apple juice, orange juice, whichever your preference. It's, it's all very important. Don't do roids, kids. I agree. Uh, hemorrhoids is a horrible hobby to have, you know, especially as a kid. That's what you call a female in a man's body. Uh, I forgot to mention, I think uh, part of the reason for all this is because she's doing some sort of uh, bodybuilding type competition. And it would be pretty funny if she won the competition and then on stage just unzipped and it was just <laughs> it was just somebody else's body that she was borrowing for the competition this is so not cute why do girls want to be like dudes stop it i hope holy shit your diesel isn't a rude comment well bill actually it's quite a rude comment diesel is somewhat overpriced and it's killing the world so um you know think before you speak massive sexy unit very big biceps and shoulders and traps hmm get bigger jordan you're beautiful kiss x x x x absolutely gorgeous sexy thick lady i i always find comments like this really funny because obviously in ireland thick also means like dumb so <laughs> so it's like you're absolutely gorgeous sexy fucking idiot she posts a picture of herself uh, celebrating her impact wrestling success and her new haircut uh, which for some reason has uh, really upset the masses not gonna lie i followed her when she looked thick and feminine unfollowed her since this transformation into a dude as long as she's happy though i guess well this is it this is as low as it's gonna be for jordan grace because a lot of you don't know this, I'm I'm a, obviously an insider into the whole wrestling industry, I have a lot of connections, I know certain rules, and basically in the wrestling industry there's this, there's actually this term called getting dennied, and basically what that means is denny unfollows you on Instagram and you have to retire, and it's, it's, it's not a joke, it's cut a lot of careers short, and it, it's really sad to see that this is where Jordan Grace is heading. What's your character though, just buff chick that throws women around, what? This sounds like a perfectly good character to me. Can you peck bounce? Sorry, can you peck bounce? I listen to your entrance music when I smash weights. I love how he was really determined to get the smashing weights part in there, even though it's not relevant at all to the conversation. You've got a really good theme song, Jordan. I was actually listening to it uh, the other day when I was saving all those children from the fire in the orphanage and then drove away my Lamborghini with them all safe in the back. And it made me feel really happy then, you know, before I went to the gym later on and started lifting up really heavy objects. So yeah, really nice piece of music. Incredible picture. We would certainly love to collaborate with you. For more info, message our major account in my bio. The profile picture on this account is literally a child. My new crush, Brian Adams, he had a good run, but I'm afraid this is it. Are you really from Earth? Is it weird that I want to get body slammed by you? <laughs> it's just a shame that you don't respond to your fans and act like you think you're better than them when really you're not. Shameful. I agree, and I really don't know why she wouldn't want to be a part of this community and why she doesn't respond to people. It seems like a very welcoming, supporting community, and I think she's just being stuck up. Job well done. At the risk of sounding like either a creep or like someone that thinks you need my validation, I have to say, your work ethic is second to none. You creep. Jawline looks a bit different now. Mmm. Okay. You're not pretty. You're gorgeous, sexy, and smoking hot, my love. She's a much better wrestler than Chris Benoit. Right, now this is quite a controversial opinion, and I know it's going to rub a lot of people the wrong way, um, and it's the sort of thing that I do keep to myself, but I'm going to say it now, right? I actually do think that Jordan Grace is a better wrestler than Chris Benoit. Now, primarily that's because he's dead, but still, that... What, damn... <laughs> That's how you know I'm hungry. It says, damn, she got shredded. I thought that said, damn, she got shreddies, and I was like, that's a bit weirdly specific sorry to disappoint but you're pretty 
I don't like this video because it's grainy in the beginning and I can't see the dull awesomeness of who you truly are. Unless it's my phone. Then I don't like my phone anymore because it's not letting me see the true awesomeness that you really are. You're fine already. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Stay like that. Don't overdo it. <laughs> You just, you just see these videos of her lifting weights and you just know this man is absolutely sweating it. He is panicking. He's just like, no! <laughs> what does it identify as? I bet you identify as a cum stain. Wow, not very attractive. Lady, don't use too much steroids because you look like a lady boy. You're proud of your manly physique? Um, well, again, she's doing that competition, so I, I think that's the entire premise. I love you, Jordan is sexy hottie. Every comment I've read is guys who are scrawny and or overweight and the girls are pissed for the fact that you're able to get so ripped and still be so damn fine. That comment I mean from my heart because I usually think it takes away from a woman's feminine beauty but not with you. <laughs> Follow me back, please. Steroid. Just the one single steroid. No matter how strong you are, you will melt with the tender touch of an honest man. Gee whiz. You got... <laughs> Gee whiz. You got huge. Roid. Beautiful. I'm scared. Monster. I had so much respect for her for some reason until I saw she has an OnlyFans account. Fucking disappointing. He is devastated. He is disappointed. He's let down. He's also spamming the subscribe button as hard as he can and he is upset. Unfortunately, I have no idea what this says because it's in French. So if one of you could translate it for me, I'd really appreciate that. Sometimes you need a little extra motivation. Motivation to grow a petrine in this. More test than me as a guy. Hashtag big clitty committee. Disquatsing. I'm not as strong as you at all, but I do have a good grip and I'll volunteer as an on-site masseuse. Well, that is, that is so generous. Damn, Sir Alex Ferguson. A little too much for me. I like the thicker version, but you do you, hun. Well, now we know what Mike thinks, so that's good. Damn, woof. <laughs> this person wants her to lean for some reason. And that's our cute stop reading the comments. So, Jordan Grace has a few weeks until this bodybuilding competition. And while some might say, congratulations or good luck, I think it's important to remember the bigger picture here. Yes, she's happy with her body. Yes, she made decisions with herself, her trainers, but you know who never got to have a say in what she does with her own body? Mike. Which is pretty selfish when you think about it. And now everyone on Instagram's upset, except for this person.